I'm so excited, not only because I absolutely love Asana, but because this is a super unique way that you can actually use Asana to manage your clients in your service-based business. So I will show you first how I've set up the board and then how you can go in and create it yourself. But ultimately, Asana is not a client management tool. Um, traditionally, it is a project management tool and meant for teams to collaborate. That said, I always look at when I bring clients on for Rebel Office that we are, we kind of become a team anyways. Um, so it works out that way, but you can totally use this and adapt this to operate any which way that you need for your business, which is the beauty of Asana as well, is all of the unique ways that you can use it if you're creative enough. So let me show you how I've set up this board. Um, this is for specifically, I've designed this one specifically for a unique program that Rebel Office offers. So that's why these sessions are here. There's nine in the program and we'll go over that, but you can customize this, like I said, to be absolutely anything that you need it to be. So this project, it's a project within Asana under my client's team and it is just a, a template. So what I do whenever I get a new client is I just come over here and hit duplicate and then I name it whatever the client is so that now they're listed under here and I can keep track of everything specifically for that client. And what I do is I invite a specific, like whatever the client's email is, I invite them to this board so they can't see the other projects within my client's team or any of my other stuff for Rebel Office. They can only see this board. Now, this is perfect for me because I eventually bring clients to using Asana for their own businesses. So this program specifically is for people who are ready to either start their own business or restructure their business to build more freedom into their lives. So if they're not already using Asana as a centralized information tool, this program forces them to do that basically. So um, this is really great tool for me, but obviously look into and do your research for your own business. There are so many actual CRM systems out there like Dubsado and HoneyBook and, and tools like that that can really help you. This just works the best for Rebel Office. So I've organized it in four columns. So links and key documents, this is where all of the general information goes. So contact details, um, their details would go here as well, their availability, um, Zoom link or meeting link if you're using Google Hangouts or appear in or whatever you use for your client calls, you would put the link in here so that your client knows that if they ever lose that link, if they ever need to know, for example, when the next session is, what the session is about, they can just come here and find that information. They know that there is one place to go in order to find it. I've also put um, a card here for Asana tutorials. So like I said, sometimes people don't have experience with Asana when they come, um, when I onboard them. So I have tutorials linked here so that they can learn how to use the system. And like I said, we eventually get them using Asana for their own business as well. But to get started, this board is a really cool opportunity for them to play around with it. Service agreement, so when I send their service agreement in HelloSign, they get it back to me. I download the PDF, the signed PDF, and upload it here so that the client can always see what the terms are of the agreement, right? And they, they always have a document to reference to not only make sure that I'm saying or keeping true to what we agreed on, but also so that they know their roles and responsibilities. And then for the specific program, we have a branding add-on because a lot of people starting businesses also need a website and logo and all of that stuff. So I have another card here for branding files. Obviously, if that's irrelevant to your business, don't put it on here. Um, this next column is for reminders. So the next session, I would just put um, update it every time after we have a workshop, May, for example, right? And then it would be here upcoming payment. So I would put their payment schedule in here. Um, if it's been paid, just cross it off. If you use a payment link, so like paypal.me, for example, and get people to pay you through that way, you can totally just type it in there so that they know where they can go to pay it whenever they need to go and pay it. Um, and then upcoming holidays, this one's pretty important. It's just to make sure that if you're traveling or if they're traveling or if there's national holidays or whatever involved, things to keep in mind um, as you're scheduling your workshops or sessions or 
follow-up calls or whatever you're scheduling. Now, this sessions one is probably where the most work happens. So here's a layout of all of the different workshops. And this is the beauty of having a signature offer, right? Because when you have a signature offer, you can come in prepared and you know the curriculum of the workshops that you're going to work through. And if they're not ordered, if you just know specific things you need to touch on, that's fine. I numbered mine because mine go in a very specific and strategically outlined order. Um, but yours don't have to do that. So basically the client to know what's going on next or what we're going to be covering in the future, they just come here, read the description of what the session is about, the duration. And I've also added subtasks for the homework. This is for me to be able to remind them what their homework is over the next um, two weeks or so, depending on which workshop it is. But it's also for them. Like I can go in and assign this to them, right? and set a deadline if they need a deadline. It really does depend on the client if they need help building um, habits and structures and all that stuff. So you can use those tools um, to your advantage for sure. And now this last column, notes and action items. Um, this is if anything comes up during our workshops that they specifically need to do. So I recently worked with a client, it was a team of three actually, and they needed to develop a partnership agreement between them. So that went here. Um, also, it can be used for brainstorming. So if I need a client to sit down and brainstorm press opportunities, or if we need a place to work on that together, then I would just create a card in here. And then we can just go back and forth and chat with each other through here and keep all of our ideas in one place. So it really is a cool tool to collaborate um, with your clients. I absolutely love it. Now, to create this border template in general, you just come up here and hit the shiny plus new button. And it's a project. It's a blank project. And then you would name it client board or client template or whatever you want it to be. Make one and do it right the first time so that you can just duplicate that board every single time you bring on a new client. So again, you want it to be a board, not a list. Maybe I'll create another video um, that shows about workflows list style but this is a board and then you would just hit create project right and then you would just come here and build it out to be whatever you need it to be and you would just go through um if you want go back into this video actually and hit pause and you can build it out that way too um absolutely no problems with that and if you ever have any questions at all about it you just let me know, message me on Instagram at Rebel Office. Um, and if you're watching this on the blog, make sure that you head on over to YouTube and, say, and hit subscribe for more cool behind the scenes videos like this. And if you're on YouTube, you know what to do.